hey everyone welcome back so in this video we're going to talk about how get initial props works and if you already know about it i would recommend to just skip this video so get initial props enables server side rendering in a page and allows us to do initial data population so this is the syntax of get initial props and it is an async function so we have a functional component and after this functional component we are adding this get initial props method and inside this we receive this context right here so on this we receive this properties right here path name query and all of these so these are the same properties you receive inside the router from next slash router but in addition you receive this request and response and also get initial props cannot be used in children components only in the default export of every page so inside every file inside the pages folder not inside the components folder and here you can see they are making a request to this URL right here and they are returning an object from here with this stars property and it is being added to the props. So get initial props always resolves to an object. When you are using this method, you have to return an object from here. So I'm going to use JSON placeholder. Now let's bring these posts. I'm going to copy this URL. So we're going to render out these posts with the get initial props. So back to VS code. So inside the pages folder for now, I'm going to treat this app.js. You do not have to follow this. I'm going to tell you why we are doing this. And now inside this index.js, let's import Axios to make our request. So now here index dot get initial props async context. So inside try catch, so if there is any error, I'm just going to return error loading. Here we're going to make a get request. So const res await axios dot get inside strings, the URL which we copied and we're going to return posts res dot data. And inside the props, we're going to receive the posts. And inside the return statement, I'm going to check if posts are there. And posts dot length is greater than zero. Then we're going to map over it. And I'm going to just return h1 with post dot title. Let's give it a key. And now if I go to my localhost server, and now you can see we have all the posts rendered out before the page loads. And if I refresh, the posts are there before the page loaded. If I go back and restore my app.js, and I've restored the app.js file. So now if I go back, and now you can see no posts are being fetched. So this is happening because when you have created your own app.js file, you're basically overriding the defaults of the Next.js. So we have to create a method inside this app.js so that we can use the get initial props inside every page. So on this app.js, we're going to have a method static async get initial props. And inside this, you receive app context. So this app context is different from this context right here, this one. Basically, this context is a property inside this app context. And if I log this, and we're going to return an object from here. So always remember, get initial props always resolves to an object. And let's check the log. So inside this app context, you have the component and this context right here. This context is this one right here, the get initial props we are using inside the index.js. Now I'm going to destructure out some properties from this app context. Const is equals to app context. We are going to need component. The component again is just the active page. And we are going to destructure out the context. So you can write it this way or what I'm going to do is 
डीचेक्टेड दम आउट हेयर सो कंपोनेंट एंड कॉन्टेक्स्ट सो नाउ वी गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ वेरिएबल हेयर लेट पेज प्रॉप्स एम टी ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वी गोइंग टू चेक इफ कंपोनेंट डॉट गेट इनिशियल प्रॉप्स सो दिस मीन्स दैट इफ एनी कंपोनेंट कंपोनेंट मीन्स एक्टिव पेज वी आर रिक्वेस्टिंग इट राइट हेयर इज रिक्वेस्टिंग गेट इनिशियल प्रॉप्स वी आर गोइंग टू सेट पेज प्रॉप्स इज इक्वल्स टू अ वेट कंपोनेंट डॉट गेट इनिशियल प्रॉप्स एंड वी गोइंग टू पास इन द कॉन्टेक्सट हेयर एंड इन साइड द रिटर्न वी आर गोइंग टू रिटर्न पेज प्रॉप्स so this page props will automatically be added to the props of this class right here so we're going to destructure it out from this dot props page props and inside the component we're going to spread it out so spread page props and i'm also going to spread it to layout so here we are spreading the page props because if i log this page props i'm going to log these and if i refresh and here you can see inside these page props i'm going to go to the top inside these page props it starts from here we have the posts so basically when we are spreading it out we are automatically going to receive the posts here if you weren't spreading it out you would have to pass the post like this page props dot posts so because we are spreading the page props we are going to receive all the properties in all the pages right here so now if i go to my home page the posts are already there and if i refresh the posts are there so now back to our home page i am going to show you a different property which we are going to use it is going to be query so here i am going to type name is equals to context dot query i am just going to log it here so console dot log name it is going to be slash question mark name is equals to in the and let's check the log and you can see right here you get the log of the name so get initial props is a great way to have server side rendering inside your app So this was all for this video I will see you in the next one